Well, I finished up my last little talk by saying that the EU is in long-term decline. Worse than that, it is actually destroying jobs. It's not creating jobs. And you can see that if you look at the employment ratios in different countries of the world. The employment ratio is defined as the proportion of citizens in the working age group, roughly 15 to 64, who have a job. Now, in Switzerland, it is 79%, and in Norway, it is 76%. In Australia, New Zealand and Canada, it's roughly 72.5%, and in the UK, it's 70%. But when we start to look at the EU, we find in the European Union as a whole, which includes, of course, the UK, 64%, and in the Eurozone, it's less than that, it's 63.8%. So what you have is a situation that more Europe actually means fewer jobs. These figures actually are averaged over the whole age spectrum, 15 to 64. If you look at youth figures, youth employment figures, which is roughly covers up to the age of 24, it's much, much worse. You find that in Spain and Italy, you have employment rates of only 50% in that age group. So that means you've got a whole host of disaffected youth with no jobs and no prospects of a job. It's even worse than Greece. But Greece is not a big economy compared to Italy. And even in France, the employment ratio for young people is really much worse than it is in the UK. Now, of course, this doesn't matter to Mr Clegg. His children will be educated at private schools and they will get jobs with the EU, well-paid, lucrative jobs. Ditto for Mrs Williams. But what about the poor people in the UK who are trying to bring up a family, hoping to get a job? It's not good news. The reason why the EU is destroying jobs is because it's a machine that produces one thing, more rules and more regulation. And Increasing, you can make a direct correlation between economic activity and regulation. The more regulation you impose, the less economic activity there will be. Now, some regulation is necessary, but what the EU is doing is killing economic activity in the EU as a whole. And that is the way these people will continue. They've killed it also, of course, with their silly euro, which is the same argument as George Galloway said. It's the same cheek. It's another cheek of the same backside. And that's what we have to get out and oppose. Thank you.